Hey guys, S2W here with your W Overview, your weekly update to the top headline sneaker releases for the next 7 days. This video was part of a series that I've done last year for a few times, but couldn't continue due to hardware and time constraints. But now that I've upgraded everything, I've decided to bring it back. For the new and old subscribers here, this video is essentially a roundup for the most notable sneaker releases for the following week. I'm still trying to fiddle with making the workflow more fluid for myself, so hopefully I can keep up with this weekly segment happening as much as possible. Also, I've added a cop or drop poll in this video for each shoe in here, so feel free to click on the prompt at the top right corner when it pops up during this video. Let's take a look at what's dropping between May 3rd to the 11th of 2019. Now May 3rd already passed, but there should still be pairs floating around. The Adidas Human Race NMD Plaid by Pharrell Williams and Billionaire Boys Club dropped in two colorways. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but I think these only released at countries where BBC stores are located. The blue pair kinda dropped worldwide for people with the Frenzy app, but the green pair was only in store. These look pretty clean in my opinion, way more than the previous solar pack human races. However, with my last purchase of the BBC human race worldwide drop, it wasn't prime knit sadly so it totally destroyed the fit for me. Online, it said these were made out of knit textile, so I would take caution if you're a fan of the stretchy prime knit. But again, everything is basically the same. There is the responsive boost midsole cushioning, but with a durable all-terrain rubber outsole for better traction and grip. The text on the upper is stitched in that reads heart and mind, and they retail for a hefty 250 US dollars. May 4th, may the force be with you, is today's date for this upload and one of the largest released happened today. The Air Jordan 4 Retro in the iconic black cement, or for others, the bread colorway is released globally. It's one of the most iconic sneakers that basketball player Michael Jordan himself has worn during his career. I have a pair coming in so a review will be in my next video, but overall, it features a new buck upper with a clean red and grey detailing around the shoe. We'll see the legendary air unit window at the heel, and most importantly, the OG Nike Air heel branding seen on the first ever release is used on this 2019 pair again. So for the new and old sneaker heads alike, it's a colorway and silhouette that a lot of people are interested in for its importance in the history of the brand itself. These retailed for $200 US and $265 Canadian. I'm pretty sure most places have sold out even with a high stock number, but if you're in luck, I'm pretty sure certain in-store locations near you should still have some if you're located in bigger cities. Then May 9th arrives with a very interesting release of a new fashion piece. Nike releases the Mars Yard Overshoe by Tom Sachs, which is essentially a waterproof boot made for the harsh late winter where there is snow, rain, and slush. It looks futuristic and oftenly referred to as moon boots nowadays. It's a 50-50 project that allows both parties to deliver a different but unique aesthetic into one. It released once in an extremely limited run in London, but now finally it's hitting shelves, and it looks like Europe gets it first. Featuring a crazy waterproof outer nylon upper, knit collar, and mind-blowing magnetic buckle straps, everything screams premium including a cork insole, soft TPU insole, and an updated rubber sole unit specifically for the sneaker for slippery conditions. Inside all of this is hidden with luxurious suede and soft mesh uppers similar to the iconic colorways seen in the previous two collabs they've done. This shirt is a high fashion item in my books because the price is at 550 US dollars or about 750 Canadian. Releasing on the same day on May 9th is the all new Nike React Presto with its first two colorways. It's essentially a silhouette that fuses one of the all time most comfortable sneakers made by Nike with their newest and bounciest cushioning they have today, React. Using the same marketing scheme that they've used to first introduce the initial colorways of the Nike Presto, they've branded each colorway with a character on these Nike React Prestos. The overall look still looks somewhat alike to the original Presto aesthetic, including the midfoot cage, booty construction, and heel crash pads. But what's different now is that they've added new eye stays on the tongue and heel area, so there's new options for us to lace them up. The midsole geometry is changed too to allow a better organic fit and look. Of course, the thick React foam underfoot looks like a great comfy cushion for our feet. These apparently go for 120 US dollars or about 165 Canadian. I'm still iffy about the look, but very interested to see how these feel on feet as I'm definitely a fan of React. Last but not least, on May 11th, probably one of the biggest drops of this year, the Jordan Brands collab with popular American rapper Travis Scott is releasing yet again another silhouette. This time, it happens to be one of the most beloved silhouette of all the Jordan silhouettes, the Jordan 1 High. Named as the Cactus Jack 1s, it features tumbled leather that everyone loves and premium brown nubuck around the overlays of the shoe. Visual wise, the most interesting take on this collab is that the Nike Swoosh branding is reversed on the lateral side. 
On the medial profile, the branding Cactus Jack text is printed on the leather as well. The back also features a Cactus Jack embossing for a special look, and interestingly, the ankle collar apparently has a hidden pouch too. This shoe retails for $175 US dollars or about $240 in Canada. There's a list online available from Nike that tells us which stores are getting them, so make sure to check it out and know the release procedures if you're interested because these will be really difficult to get I'd assume. Anyways, that concludes this week of W Overview. Make sure to click on the prompts on the top right corner of this video and vote cop or drop on each shoe. Also, which headline sneaker is your favorite this week? Let me know down below in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next W Overview.